Well, grief counselors are on hand at a Lewisdale Elementary School today to help the young children cope with a loss. Their six-year-old schoolmate died in a fire over the weekend. The community where he lived is also dealing with a tragedy. Denise Douglas has the details. As investigators look into the cause of the fire that gutted this house, the community grieves over losing a six-year-old boy in the tragedy. It's just really, really sad, the whole situation. I was Magdalena just... Lopez lives a few doors down with her two young children. She was at home when it happened. I mean, thankfully for the um, fire department that was able to... Um, to put the fire down because I didn't smell anything and I was awake at that time. Firefighters say the blaze started close to four in the morning on Sunday. A woman in her 60s escaped, but three others, including the young boy, had to be pulled out. He died at the hospital. Two women believed to be his mother and aunt remain in critical condition. Just have to pray every day that everything goes well. When firefighters went inside of the home, they did not find a smoke detector. In light of that yesterday, they went around to homes here in the neighborhood, testing detectors as well as giving out free ones for people who didn't have any. And today they are continuing that effort. And we're also finding a lot of smoke detectors are more than 10 years old. Uh, we found two just in this last house that we did. 55 detectors have been replaced in the neighborhood since yesterday. 92 year old <laughs> Betty Thacker also gets a new one. Did you know that your smoke detector might need changing? No, I did not. No, I did not. So it probably makes you feel pretty good that they... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It makes you feel really good. Whenever we set our clocks forward and backwards... Captain Brian Frankel says there's no telling if a detector could have made a difference in the tragedy on Griffin Street, but it's best not to leave anything to chance. I would like to believe that, yes, a smoke detector would have made a difference, but I'm not sure. Denise Douglas, CTV News. So be sure your detector is up to date. Also, test it regularly and change the batteries twice a year. You can get a free detector by calling 301-864-SAFE.